Good morning, y'all, <clears throat> and welcome back to day 104 of the God Hears Her devotional. First of all, if you hear Ivy in the background making a ton of noise, that's just my life right now, so I'm just going to roll with it. Um, and second of all, thanks for your patience in between videos, um, with the holidays just passing us for Thanksgiving and Christmas right around the corner, um, I haven't really had time to pick up the camera, um, but I appreciate y'all's patience. The scripture for th for this morning is Luke chapter 10, verses 25 through 37. So if y'all are ready, then let's get started. And the word says, On one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law? He replied, how do you read it? He answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this, and you will live. But he wanted to justify himself. So he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbor? In reply, Jesus said, A man who was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So too, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed him, passed by him, on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day, he took out two denarii and gave them, gave him to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? The, the expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. One second while I prepare the scripture summary, please. Our scripture summary this morning comes to us from Luke chapter 10, verse 37. I wrote down, Show kindness for everyone in all circumstances. You don't know their situation. Um... This is actually a really perfect story, but I'll condense it. So, every year, 
we have an open door policy for uh, friends and family friends who um, either their families are far away or whatever the case may be. But we always try to have an open door policy. Um, in years past, our house has been very full with said open door policy. And, and, in the current years, sometimes it's been pretty small. But, that's how, um, that's how I picture our open door policy is, is it can be given to as many people as it needs to be. Just like how God shows mercy on everybody else, he has an open door policy for everyone he encounters. That's all there is for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching and I and I hope you all continue to have a blessed holiday season and I will see you in the next video. Bye everybody. Y'all, look at what Ivy just did. She moved her bed from the center of my bathroom to the middle of the doorway. You are one crazy, smart, strong puppy.